This is amazing. There's THC in a meteorite. Get yourself over here and explain this to folks. This is so exciting. Well, this was uh, terribly exciting and new to me, but in a way, it goes right along with what we have been discovering recently, which is um, blood rain, which we'll describe in a minute, which has to do with meteorites coming into our atmosphere, dropping blood, literally human hemoglobin blood. And also uh, galactose, which we have pointed out before, some say uh, was the basis of DNA being um, inoculated or put into the earth. So some would say blood comes from meteorites that are milk or DNA are the highest form of a uh, um, uh, of DNA found in our body. Uh, this galactose is absolutely equivalent to mother's milk. Uh, and now we find that the endocannabinol system, which has only within the last 10 years become a big deal, and they have discovered it and found that it actually controls the ductless glands, the uh, system that we thought was the master control system for the whole body, the uh, endocrine system. But what we now find out is when they had discovered that lymph actually goes beyond the blood-brain barrier into the head, into the skull, and you can find an entire lymphatic system in the skull, which they never knew was there before, they also at the same time discovered the endocannabinol system. Now the endocannabinol system is an ancient system that no one understands yet, but they are finding out that the things that stimulate it, CBD1, CBD2, and a variety of other, CB, CBN, CBG, and um, uh, ARG and all these other things that come from hemp and from cannabis, uh, the two oldest cultivated plants on the face of the earth, 